This week we are making recipes using onion soup mix. It's the dry onion soup mix. It goes in so many different recipes. I always have a box of this in my pantry. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. There are so many creative recipes using this onion soup mix. To start off, we're gonna be making no peak beef tips and gravy. I believe it's called no peak because it's supposed to cook covered in the oven for several hours, but I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna make it in the crock pot. This is only five ingredients and it is a true dump and go recipe. Throw it all in the crock pot, forget about it, and we'll see you back in like seven hours. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna throw in two pounds of stew meat. These are mostly thawed. They're still a little frozen in the middle, but that'll be okay. They'll be in here all day long. Next, we're gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup, a pack of brown gravy mix. I chose the less sodium one. Your onion soup mix pack, and one cup of Coca-Cola. You could use Pepsi or Dr. Pepper. If you hear that noise in the background, that is the coffee maker going. It That's is my coffee. Your coffee, mm-hmm. Gotta have some coffee. Mm -hmm. See there, you can make your coffee, make your dinner. That's right, all at the same time. Put it all in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Go about your day, come back, it's gonna be taste good. <laughs> it's gonna be taste good. I'm just kind of mixing it together a little bit and we're gonna put the lid on this and just cook it on low for about seven hours. Ready to eat. I'll eat. <laughs> this looks amazing. Look at that sauce, that gravy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Man, that gravy. Oh boy. All right, let's get another dose of this. I don't know what's up with this gravy right here, but. You ready for it? It is amazing. You ready for it? What? It's got a cup of Coca-Cola in it. <laughs> wow. Congratulations to Coca-Cola, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. Very rich, yeah. deep flavors. Very beefy. Hearty, yes. beefy. Yes. That sort of thing. That stew meat is fork tender. It just kind of falls apart. You just touch it and it just <laughs> comes apart. What does it do? You saw it. <laughs> I'm replaying that. As grandma would say, this is soft and good. That's right, it is. What you make? Taters. Tell me about it. I don't know what I'm making. Look, I know you got this. I do have that. I'm just, I figured I needed to use it up. It was in the pantry, so we're just gonna use it. Okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Maybe it'll turn out, maybe it won't. I'm really hoping it does. I think it'll be all right. I think it will too. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with onion and mushroom and potatoes. And butter. And butter, ooh, butter. Butter makes everything better. Yeah. About out of olive oil. You get some more. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add a pack of this onion mushroom soup. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter to a hot skillet. And now let's just add in our potatoes. We're just gonna cook these on medium high for probably 10 to 15 minutes. And just because. Man. Are they good potatoes? I'm so excited right now. Wow, lots of flavor on that. It's like a, it's like a hash brown, you know? It's like a okay. potato hash yeah. sort of consistency there with the, I mean, you can see how they've got that sear on them. Oh yeah. So all of those flavors are sort of caramelized right there on the potato. Just absolutely tremendous flavor coming out of that. For our next recipe using onion soup mix, we are doing another crock pot dish. Today we are using some chicken thighs and this is just simply called crock pot chicken with onion soup mix. We need a better name for it. Help me name it down in the comments below, but let's get started. Okay, you're either gonna want to spray your large crock pot with some nonstick spray, or you can use a liner like I am. I've got eight ounces of sliced mushrooms that are gonna go on the bottom. I've also got one yellow onion that I chopped or sliced, so we're just gonna throw that on the bottom as well. Now on top of our onions and mushrooms, we are gonna place our chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want to. You just need to be careful and 
keep an eye on them to make sure that they don't dry out. Now to this small bowl, we are gonna be adding a cup of sour cream, a can of cream of chicken soup, our onion soup mix, and at this point you can add in salt and pepper. I think there's enough salt in the cream of chicken and the onion soup mix, so I am just adding pepper. Let's stir all of this up and then we're just gonna pour this right over our chicken. Now this can cook on high for just a few hours or you can cook it low and slow all day. It is early afternoon, so I am going to be putting mine on high. This screams comfort food. Yeah, it does. It's got chicken gravy, some mushrooms, Oh, you like it? Oh, yeah. We got coal on camera. That means mm. it's good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's like a creamy gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that gravy is really good. It's not like too rich. It's just rice, really creamy. Enhances the flavor of the chicken. The chicken is like fork tender. Of course it is. It's chicken thighs. It's just falling mm -hmm. apart. Yeah. And I love that. I'm going to have you ask you a question. Okay, ask me a question. You got cream cheese in there? Nope. There is no cream cheese. I'm just making sure. You've been sneaking it in lately. Boo. Honey. Lou. Babies. No. No. Grace. Yeah, tell them. So there's no cheese. What is this? What? Tell them. There's chicken. You want... <laughs> do, you, do you want some? <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> she knocked it out of my hand. You said, give me that chicken. You want more? <laughs> okay, for our next recipe, we are making one of Cole's favorite dishes, and that is meatloaf. Today, we are making a very classic meatloaf, but it is using the onion soup mix. Okay, to get started, we are going to preheat our oven to 350. Let's get started. This is very simple. First, we need our pack of onion soup mix. You need three fourths a cup of water, two eggs, and one third a cup of ketchup. Let's mix all of this together before we add in our ground beef. Okay, now we're gonna add in two pounds of ground beef. I believe this is 80-20. One cup of breadcrumbs. I have the Italian blend of breadcrumbs. That's just what I have on hand. You could just use plain, it's totally fine. And I took off my rings. We are going to mix this. First, I'm gonna attempt to start mixing it with a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna be using my meatloaf pan. You can definitely just use a regular loaf pan, but I got this from Amazon and I love this thing because what it does is these holes allow for all of the grease to gr drain below. And when you're done and ready to serve, you just lift this up out of it and it leaves all of that grease below. It is nonstick, but I'm gonna go ahead just for extra measure and spray it with some olive oil spray. And let's form our loaf. And that's it, we will make a glaze closer to time for it to come out of the oven. This is going in a 350 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. There is about 15 minutes left on our meatloaf. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the glaze now. I need one cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and then we need about a half a tablespoon of ground mustard. I'm just gonna combine this and then pour it into a small saucepan and stick it on the stove top just to melt the sugars down. Is that a good meatloaf? Oh, Cole's so happy. Like, it's moist. I'm sorry, I just have to say oh it. Oh my gosh, Steven. Oh. He, Cole is so happy. When I told him we were having meatloaf, he like did a little jig. He was so happy. I love me yeah. some meatloaf. That's good. I wanna know where my mashed potatoes are though. Sorry. You gonna have to get over it. This meatloaf is absolutely fantastic, though. Well, I am so happy. It is uh, not dry. You've already said it, so it's just downhill from here. But I'm so glad, mm. Cole. You one or two thumbs up on this meatloaf. I will give you three, but I can't do a thumbs up on my foot. So. <laughs> you, might, you know what? what? You might be wearing the same thing you wore the last time we did a taste test. But just so y'all know. This is filmed over the course of like a week, week and a half. So, mm -hmm. he, I just wear the same shirt every day. Yeah, I do wash it. So, it's all good. I anyway. just walk around here stanking. Steven. I mean, we wash it every couple of years. Oh my yes. gosh, you too. Stop. Can I help you? There's no cheese. That 
I was my finger. You like mashed potatoes too? Yeah. Alright, I gotta wash my hands. You know how people stay at the exit gate?